In this video, we take a look at the recent performance of the copper price in the largest TSXV listed copper stocks. Canadian Mining Report is not a financial advisor and this video is intended for informational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice. The past performances of the stocks mentioned are not indicative of future results and the information included is based on publicly available information and consensus estimates that may or may not be reliable. Canadian Mining Report management or employees may have positions in or marketing relationships with the companies mentioned. The copper price saw a significant pickup from the second quarter of 2021, entering a range from around $4 US dollars per pound to $4.8 US dollars per pound, which has held since. And we highlight three trends within this range over the past year, with the first two being a 14% decline from May 2021 to August 2021, then an eight-month 16.8% rise from around September 2021 to April 2022. The third move, a 13% decline in just a month in May 2022, is a bit concerning, with substantial declines in copper often historically indicating an economic slowdown coming. We now move to the share price performance of the leading TSXV copper companies in the context of these movements in the copper price, in order of market cap including Foran Mining, NGEX Minerals, Los Andes Copper, Emerita Resources, Orico Resources, and Sandfire Resources America. We start with the second best performer since 2021, NGEX Minerals, which is focused on copper exploration in South America, with the current focus on the Los Jaleros project in Chile, which is at the resource estimate stage, with inferred resources of 17.6 billion pounds of copper, 10 million ounces of gold, and 92 million ounces of silver. The company had limited exploration news flow through much of 2021, but from September 2021 began reporting new drill results from Los Jaleros, with highlights of 1.03% over 440 meters, with further strong results in February 2022 of 1.05% over 150 meters, and in April 2022 of 0.74% over 1,016 meters, supporting the stock price. And while it has seen some pressure in May 2022 from the decline in the copper price, it is still up 430% since 2021. The third best performer has been Foran Mining, operating the Mick Alvena Bay project in Saskatchewan, with a feasibility study already released with indicated and inferred resources of 1.08 billion pounds of copper and 2.14 billion pounds of zinc. The company rose materially over the first half of 2021 on both strong drilling results from the project and the rise in the gold price, but has been quite range-bound from the second half of 2021 onward, with the market apparently having already priced in continued strong drill results over the period. A 70% increase in indicated resources and a feasibility study released in April 2021, highlighting an after-tax project NPV of 1,768 million Canadian dollars and a relatively low initial cap of 368 million Canadian dollars. Although the share price has held up in the recent copper decline and has risen 190% since 2021. The next best performance has been Los Andes Copper, operating the Vizcachitas project in Chile, with inferred resources of 11.2 billion pounds of copper, 400 million pounds of molybdenum, and 43.4 million ounces of silver, with a PEA released in 2019 outlining an MPV of 2.7 billion US dollars on a high initial capex of 1.9 billion US dollars. The company saw some pickup in early 2021 on the release of metallurgical results, environmental approval for drilling, and the rise in copper, but was near flat again by September 2021, and since late 2021 has gained on a series of drill results, including 0.51% in copper equivalent over 732 meters in February 2022, 0.5% copper equivalent over 1,177 meters in March, and 1% copper equivalent over 152 meters in May 2022, and is up 124% since 2021. Orico Resources operates an earlier stage project than the rest of the group, Santo Thomas in Mexico, with its share price picking up in first half 2021 on the release of a 3D IP survey on the property and approval for drill programs. But it has declined since with drilling at Santo Thomas starting in July 2021 and results including 0.45% copper equivalent over 328 meters in January 2022 and 0.42% copper equivalent over 311 meters in April 2022. 
2022, failing to lift the share price, which is down 27% since 2021. Sanfire Resources America operates the Black Butte project in the U.S., a relatively small project with 0.5 billion pounds of copper, with a feasibility study in 2020 outlining an MPV of 77 million U.S. dollars and 275 million U.S. dollars in initial capex. Progress on the project has been limited because of an ongoing lawsuit that was initially filed in June 2020 on issues raised by environmental groups. There was an update on the case in April 2022 with the company to submit a remedy for the issues raised by June 2022, after which the company expects to have more clarity on the project timeline, but is still down 42% since 2021. The best performer of the group is Emerita Resources, which we've put last here as its performance has been so strong, it requires a change in the scale of the chart versus the rest of the group. The company operates two copper zinc projects in Spain, Iberian West, which is the current focus of exploration, and Asnal Collar, where there's an ongoing lawsuit related to the tender process for the project, which may exclude a previous bidder and see the project awarded to Emerita. The company saw a pickup in mid-2021 on announcements it was gearing up for drilling at Iberian West, progress on the Asnel Collar court case, and a private placement. It was then boosted by drill results of 3.8% copper over 5 meters in August 2021, 3.6% copper over 11 meters in September, and 2.5% copper over 8 meters in October, and most recently released drill results of 1.2% copper over 6 meters in April 2022. While the stock was up 730% at its peak, it has trended down since November 2021, and it is still up 570% since 2021, the strongest of the group. You can leave any comments you have on the video below, and if you are interested in more information on Canadian base and precious metals, junior miners, visit our website www.canadianminingreport.com for weekly updates and many longer form industry reports and to access our recent product, A Time for Caution, the TSX V50 Metal Miners, which provides an overview of the largest TSX V listed junior miners.